Hello boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is Defub21, and even though, certainly as far as the retail industry is concerned, it's Christmas time, uh, we have yet another uh, new trailer. This one is for a game called Shakedown Hawaii, which as far as I'm aware has just been announced with this trailer and an associated announcement. It's called the Shakedown Hawaii announcement trailer. So obviously, you know, it's in the name. Um, this is a sequel, uh, well, not, not, not so much a sequel, it certainly isn't a name, but it's effectively a sequel to Retro City Ransom. Um, the names of the developers and slash publisher escapes me at this moment, uh, but I'm sure we'll find that out in the trailer. It's the same people who made Retro City Rampage as well, so whether they made it in Retro City Rampage 2, I don't know, maybe they decided a different name for whatever reason. Um, I have Retro City Rampage, I, if memory serves correctly, I got it on my PlayStation Vita. Um, I thought it was an okay game, I never really played a particularly significant amount of it. Um, for no other reason than really the kind of 8-bit kind of NES games, kind of the NES in general kind of passed me by. I played the original Super Mario Bros on it and, and so on, but I never, you know, in Europe at that stage, back in the 80s, it was really more kind of, well, it was really more kind of small microcomputers, things like the uh, Commodore 64 and so on in the 80s were in, in vogue in Europe. The NES was never uh, the phenomenon or the phenom phenomenon in what is now the European Union that it was in, in particularly in the United States and also in Japan and um, so you know it pushed you know we had to look cool but it didn't really necessarily push my buttons this game is not just appears to be like a, a, a sequel effectively a sequel to a Retro City Rampage in the terms of being an old school cartridge type console game but very much in the vein of kind of grand theft auto but it also appears to be a sequel in terms of rather than being an 8-bit game it is a 16-bit game and i was very much kind of a a mega driver for those uh, in the u.s a sega genesis person although i did have a friend with a uh, friends with super nintendos and i played a lot of those games too mario kart street fighter and both uh, the alien 3 game on both this on the mega drive and the snes were uh, great games and i say they on both systems because they were actually different made by the same people but they were actually genuinely different games i mean imagine that time where a multi-platform title would be effectively a completely you know different graphics different audio you name it on two different systems of the same generation it's quite crazy but that actually did you know happen uh, back in the day i think it was probe software who made alien 3 but again i'm i'm i'm, I'm going off uh, going uh, off uh, off track there so to avoid myself being a uh, well, what's the word for to avoid myself being a sidetracked? I'll get back on point. So this is the trader for trader for Shakedown Hawaii. It is very much kind of in the 16-bit rather than the 8-bit vein. So this kind of more pushes or likely to, is, I think, will push my buttons more. Um, hopefully it will. And I think at this point I want to be keep keep going on and on and on. We'll just have a look at the trader and then I'll tell you what I think about it. So for the moment, to Lou. Well, for those who may or may not have forgotten, uh, this is Defub21, and first thought off the top of my head, well, 
one, the uh, very kind of retro-y, 80s sounding electronica soundtrack. That again, uh, much more pushes my, uh, what's the word for it, pushes my nostalgia buttons as it were, then uh, then the the kind of really low end eight bit st- or well eight bit sound in the uh, the previous game Retro City Rampage, um again the game visually looks uh, considerably better than uh, than Retro City Rampage, not just in terms of the graphics being higher fidelity, which there obviously would be. It's clearly a kind of a faux sixteen bit game, while Retro City Rampage is more kind of faux um, faux eight bit. Although obviously Retro City Rampage's graphics were well beyond what an 8-bit system like the NES could do, again it did you know from a nostalgia st- standpoint you know Retro City for me was um, oh that's okay, yeah it looks cool again. For me back then it would have been Commodore 64, ZX Spectrum, even old Atari you know machines from before the uh, the console industry busted the early early to mid 80s, uh, ra- Pong and whatnot rather than uh, uh, rather than the NES it just didn't have the the that kind of those games that kind of era for the most part of games just doesn't have the same kind of nostalgia effect for me but this is much more up the up my alley the i think like the uh the 80s soundtrack music this electronic music sounds great and um, visually it's obviously again yes it's a 16-bit great gr- game in terms of graphics but in style rather than actual 16-bit graphics there's clearly a level of animation in there a number of characters on screen and animation of each of those individual characters as well beyond what a, a 16-bit system can do or could do back in the day um yeah it looks good it looks very good it's a short sweet trailer um visually looks better definitely kind of pushes my in my nostalgia buttons um i've one of the things i didn't like about rampage was it stuck to a very kind of an 8-bit style of gameplay and controls and i would imagine if we're, if we're lucky we'll get an, an upgrade to the kind of more advanced stuff that was used in the 16-bit era as well so, so it won't just look better it'll play better um how far into that they'll go um i don't know but again this has definitely got my attention. Apparently, we'll be getting information, or there'll be there. Sony will be letting people play it. I assume on the PlayStation Four uh, next month, so we'll probably get some press coverage then on the net and find out more. But for the time being, um, yeah, I'm more interested in this than I was in the previous game, and uh, sound, look sounds great in terms of the, the soundtrack. If that's represented, what the soundtrack will be uh, in the game looks great. And hopefully it'll continue to uh, build upon what was learned, lessons learned from the previous game, and we'll get a a great faux sixteen bit game out of it. But it's definitely visually, it's definitely got stuff in it like level the number of characters on screen, complexity of animations, and so on, that just wasn't technically feasible on either the SNES or the Mega Drive slash Genesis. So as I said, uh, I'm very interested in it, and. Uh, this is, so I'll end this here. I don't want to keep going on for never and ever. This is uh, Defob21. If you like this video, please check out my channel. If you like what you see there, like the video and uh, subscribe to my channel. Again, this is repeating myself again. This is Defob21. Toodaloo.